A few weeks ago, I introduced a new concept, tentatively called Pitch and Scratch, which is creating scratch-like sounds by rapidly changing the tempo or pitch inside of DJ software with a jog wheel. Many of you asked how to recreate this effect with your own controllers, so here's a brief tutorial on how to do just that. While you may use many different controls to rapidly change tempo, the jog wheel works best for scratching the pitch. In this tutorial, I'll use Traktor and the VCI-100, but you should be able to recreate it in just about any software that supports MIDI mapping. First, let's go into the MIDI mapping panel inside of the Preferences window. Here we can add a tempo command and map our MIDI controller to that function by pressing Learn and then moving the jog wheel. Now that these two are connected, we need to fine tune how our mappings will work. Since I use the right jog wheel, let's change this mapping to Control Deck B. Next, we'll need to define the type of controller. The VCI-100 is a JOG 3FH. Next, we need to refine how sensitive the action on our scratching will be by adjusting the rotary encoder settings. For the VCI-100 and a pitch range of 50%, I think rotary sensitivity at about 100% and rotary acceleration at 81% is just about right. You should play around with these settings a lot though and fine tune them to suit your tastes as they can dramatically change the way the scratch and pitch will feel. Finally, we need to adjust the pitch range under transport settings. I found 50% up and down is just right for voicing samples and creating a realistic scratch effect, but you may want to try other amounts and see how they sound to you. Each one will react differently with the various MIDI settings, so finding the right combo might take a little bit of work, but is worth it in finding just the right feel for you. So that's it, a simple way to revoice and scratch samples inside your DJ software.